Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I think the last time that we talked was, I want to say maybe like a year ago. And I'm so sorry, y'all. I have been so busy. I have so much to catch y'all up on. I think the last couple of videos that I put up were bag reviews. And speaking of bag reviews, y'all, I am so excited because Teddy Blake reached out to me to do a review. A small YouTubers who are soon to be big YouTubers, we're moving on that because the Teddy Blake reached out to moi. Anyway, they were gracious enough to not only let me do a bag review, they let me pick out the bag I wanted to review. So I picked out a beautiful bag that I'm so excited to unbox and show y'all, so let's get into it. So this is the beautiful box it came in. It's giving luxury, it's giving almost PR box, but not really, because I'm sure your bag will come in a box just like this. And this is the inside. It says Teddy Blake, New York designer handbag made in Italy. It is luxury leather. And each bag has been made with you in mind, okay? Unique style and flatter my fashion choice, which is why I picked this beautiful bag. And I can't wait to show y'all. All right, so let's open her up. So as you can see, she will come perfectly wrapped. Outside of the plastic, it's a dust bag that says Teddy Blake, New York. And are y'all ready? Are y'all are y'all ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Okay. Ta -da! So here she is out of the packaging. This is the 12 inch Vanessa Palmelato. Here's the Teddy Blake tag. I really hope the true color is coming off on the camera because it is like a nudie pink. There's a snap on the side that opens up the handles. Let's get a peek inside. And she comes with a long adjustable strap. The bag kept this true form even without the tissue paper in there, so I love that. So she can sit on my shelf. Y'all, how beautiful is this bag? Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I hope that you all love my new bag. If you're interested, please go over to Teddy Blake's website. They have every possible style that you could possibly choose from. If you're looking for luxury on a budget or if you're looking for even more high-end pieces, they have every type of style for you. Each bag is made with premium Italian leather. Did you, did, did you hear me? Premium Italian leather. Where they do that at for that price? So I've never been to Italy, but this bag, the genuine leather, the smell, I feel like I'm in Italy, okay? <laughs> Not only are these bags made directly in Italy, they're also made in the same factories that other popular luxury brands are made at as well. So that should tell you the quality of these bags are amazing. You get the same great quality as other luxury designers, but for a fraction of the price, and you cannot beat that. Right now, Teddy Blake has a great sale going on with up to 70% off. If you happen to miss that sale, you can definitely use my coupon code to save $30 off and I'll have a coupon code here on the screen as well as in the description bar. So go ahead and get you a bag girl and tell them that Shani sent you. So I know y'all probably thinking like what the hell is that pink rag doing behind the headboard and all I got to say is if you know you know. Well, now we got the business out the way. First let's let's just discuss this what we got going on here right. So your girl has been stressing. And when I stress, I break out. And I've been having these breakouts for like the last six or so months. It clears up, it flares up, it clears up, it flares up. My doctor prescribed me, I have it here in the bathroom. And if you see any mess, just excuse it because it's Sunday and that's, you know, reset day. But I ain't reset yet. But um, my doctor prescribed me tretinoin, which, it helped in the beginning. I'll put a picture here. It cleared up the acne, but I had like terrible acne scars. So then I went like a fool and bought this Good Molecules Discoloration uh, Correcting Serum. And it ain't correct nothing. It made it worse. See, I can get a, a picture of how my face is looking right now. And it wasn't this bad a couple of days ago. Yesterday I had Popeye's macaroni and cheese, which I should mention that dairy is a trigger for my skin. So let's get into life lately, right? So for starters, everybody's been asking me, Shani, where are you stationed at? Where did you move to? Where did you move to? Y'all are not gonna believe this because we're now at Fort Cavazos, Texas, formerly known as Fort Hood. 
yes we're back in texas how do we get back in texas a prayer in the wing y'all the army the army was trying to send us i ain't gonna say the army our branch managers because as y'all know i'm doing military my husband's in the military and he's a warrant officer now so they were trying to send us to fort riley kansas fort riley kansas no shade no tea to fort riley kansas but i was not going there and the sole reason why I was not going there is because every house that I looked at to possibly rent or even buy had white refrigerators. Mm -mm. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So I wrote down, I, I literally manifested Fort Cavassos now. I wrote down one day, I was like, I'm not going to Fort Riley. I'm going to Fort Hood. I don't know why Fort Hood was in my mind to go to. Maybe because my best friend lives here. My husband wanted to come back here because his friends are here. So... You know, it's it's kind of home to us, and we know Fort Cavazos. I keep saying Cavazos because that's what it is now, y'all. But you know, Fort Hood. So we're back in Colleen, and yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to be back. The unit that I'm in right now is phenomenal. Like I cannot complain. I don't have no soldiers, but the downside to that is when you don't have soldiers, you are the soldier. So when there's like taskings and details and duty, you gotta do it and. You gotta pick your poison, right? Yeah, I'm just fake nose ring keep falling. <laughs> but yeah, so that's um that's that's been happening. Um if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I found out in January that I got selected for Warner for the school. Yay me. Um I leave for school in a week. Literally a week. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably get more of my life lately because I post a lot on my stories. I either post a lot or I don't post anything. So if you catch me in between, you probably don't know. So I have a bunch of footage that I'm going to probably upload like Netflix Hulu style. I hope y'all like the compilation of, you know, what my family and I have been doing these last six months. So since COVID, I want to say my highest weight was like 245 pounds. When I went to Virginia to visit my husband in March, I was still at 245. So as of right now, I'm down to like 226. So your girl been putting in work. I've been going to the gym, exercising, somewhat eating right. I had to do what I had to do. And it's crazy that I've been, I've been on this fitness journey for like the last three years if you think about it but i never had anything to like really motivate me to lose the weight until getting selected from one of school so that's all it took me going back to school to lose weight which is crazy but i'm feeling better i got more pounds to lose which i'm going to hopefully shed at school that's why i didn't go crazy with the weight loss because i didn't want to show up a crackhead and leave looking like a worse crackhead because <laughs> everybody know in military school you're going to lose weight stay tuned for the next video that's coming up again it's going to be netflix hulu style so you'll see like different months and things that we did and hopefully it's to your liking and i'll be recording throughout the week of my preparation of getting ready for warrant officer school and possibly recording up until the day i report so that y'all have videos up on the channel while i'm gone so yeah until then until next time love y'all